we saw a bunch of boxes for sale for beekeeping and with a sign that said sells we sell bees so we looked yeah. at each other and said you want to get some bees it was always kind Basically. of an interest just because of how good they are for the environment yeah they're declining so populations are always needing a hand we're not in it for the honey it's just to have the bees and help them survive help their garden <laughs> out and our flowers yeah how did you learn how to keep bees <laughs> internet <laughs> basically Videos, bought a couple books yeah but reading books research. and watching YouTube doesn't actually help you when it comes down to the hands-on. It's not the same. <laughs> you figure it's, it out quick. Yeah. I mean, it's not rocket science either. It's You own pets, you can own bees. They're just a little bit more finicky and they don't really listen to you. <laughs> so what do you need to be able to do this? Space. I mean, a backyard at least. Yeah. Flowers to get them going. If you're buying packaged bees the way that we did, you'll have to feed them sugar water pretty much the whole year because that helps them build their comb in their hive. So this here is all capped brood. This is all where the new bees are going to be coming out of once they're ready to be worker bees. So it's about 3,000 bees per side. A typical hive will maintain about 40 to 60,000 bees. That's a healthy hive. So we're getting up there. We're almost at a full hive's worth. We started off with roughly about 10,000 and one queen. And I would say we probably have about 20, 30,000 now with the same queen. Her name is Pandora. This is Pandora's box? It's Pandora's yes. box, yeah. She could get sick or old or die and they can replace her themselves, but that sets you back about a month because it takes about a month for her to be born, to fly off and get pregnant, come back and start laying again. It takes 21 days to start brood again, so... You can always buy it's one that's already mated, and but I mean you have to find an apiary that sells just queens. So you're not right in town, but you're right in the edge of town. I can see all your neighbors. What do your neighbors think of you guys having bees? They haven't complained yet. They don't seem to mind, I guess. <laughs> I mean the farmer on that side will probably be happy that his crop is going to be pollinated pretty nicely. <laughs> if they don't have good food source, they can go up to five kilometers away, which is pretty much the distance yeah. of Steinbeck. But, uh, I wouldn't imagine they would go too far. We feed them a lot here. We have a lot of flowers, gardens and stuff like that. And a lot of trees, apple trees, and fruit trees around here. What most. advice would you have for anybody wanting to start? Do a lot of research first. Yeah. Make sure you have, you think you know what you're doing before you jump into it. Because it's a lot of work. It's um, not a cheap hobby. It's roughly about $1,000 to start because the bees cost about $240. The hive itself, we got ours on sale, was still roughly $500. Yeah, the gear is really expensive too. So have you been stung? Nope, not yet. And I get right up in that hive. I, was, I had my face right up against their door yesterday and they didn't care. They were flying around me. Yeah, we sit outside <laughs> and just watch them, see what they're doing. Yeah, I have a stump out there that I sit on. Every day I go and I sit out there for at least an hour watching. Just, it's fascinating. They have so much on their mind with work that they don't even they don't even care if you're not bothering them they don't care basically I think their lifespan is too short for them to, to care <laughs>